Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure site-to-site -site IPsec VPN on Palo Alto Firewall. To configure IPsec VPN, you need to know peer IP address and IPsec, IPsec parameters and pre-shared key or have a certificate for if you choose certificate authentication. Okay, so to configure IPsec VPN, you need to go to interfaces and uh, configure a tunnel interface for this side-to-side -side VPN. Let's choose its ID 2 and let's call partner tunnel, which is virtual router and will not add additional VPN, I will choose just uh, zone trust. If you want to uh, have the, uh, IP, uh, dynamic IP routing on VPN tunnels, we need to have IP addresses on the interface, but if you don't want to have dynamic routing, you can leave it blank. Okay, done. Next, we need to go to my gateway. Here we will configure our IPsec peer. So, partner one, and we'll choose interface. It's uh, behind uh, our uh, outside interface. So peer IP address, let's say it's 2222, and let's choose pre-shared key, and uh, local authentication, it depends what authentication type you have chosen, it could be FQDN for certificate authentication or pre-shared, or IP address for usually which is used for pre-shared key authentication, let's choose IP addresses and in local authentication will show our IP address and in peer authentication we're expecting to now to get two 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 two. Okay, that's all. Now uh, we can configure specific um, phase one or phase two per and phase two parameters, or we can use default IPsec parameters which are already given here. Uh, keep in mind they should match exactly with your peer, otherwise it, your VPN will not be established. And after that you need to go to IPsec tunnels and configure one. Here we'll use all the configurations. Okay, so we'll use all the parameters we have created. Partner one, so here we'll choose tunnel, which we created first. After that, we'll choose gateway, so that is our peer. And IPsec crypto profile, we'll choose default. Uh, if you configure side to side VPN with Another Palo Alto firewall. So that's actually all. We, the only thing left we need to configure route to tunnel two. But if you establish a VPN with, let's say, Cisco SA, so you will have to configure proxy ID. Let's say from where to where, local network, remote network, and that is what you will have to have. Keep in mind this parameters should match exactly as well. But uh, this VPN is a route-based VPN, not policy-based VPN. And if you have a VPN established, if you establish VPN to a uh, Cisco router where you have tunnel interface with crypto profile assigned, so that is the route-based VPN and you don't need to specify proxy IDs as well. So that's actually all this configuration and the only thing left 
is just to configure route. Oh, sorry, just to sort of build your router. As you can see, tunnel 2 is signed to default router. Okay, so and now we can add static route, or if you want, you can configure even the uh, dynamic routing as well. But keep in mind, you have to have IP addresses on the tunnel interfaces in this case. So let's say Partner 1 network, destination 192.168.100.0 slash 24 and interface which is here interface tunnel 2 so none ok After that, don't forget to commit the change. And when you have uh, configuration all the all configuration done and commit successfully completed, so you will see that status will turn to green, and that would mean that. Uh, VPN established successfully and it's running and uh, another peer is working as well. So that's actually all. Thank you for your time and all the best with follow-up with firewalls.